Family carers say they save the state 20 billion euro every year. Yet less than three in ten have ever received respite, according to Family Carers Ireland's latest report published today. For those who do get offered a place, it's often last minute and too short. Kira is a um, lovely kid. She's a mental age of a toddler, even though she's a full adult. She's a wheelchair user, non variable autistic epilepsy, cerebral palsy and global developmental delay. Just moving her to change her pad, um, to shower her, to get her in and out of bed, in and out of the wheelchair, it's all physical pulling, dragging, lifting. So I've had surgery on the shoulder, which I've torn my tendons. I've had have a bulging disc in my back at the minute. So it's obviously impacting our health now as we're aging and our assessments haven't changed. We haven't been assessed in years. Although our knees are changing and Kira's knees are changing, our respite remains at two to three days every couple of months. The financial cost is also a concern. According to the survey of more than 2,000 family carers, 23% missed at least one rent or mortgage payment in the last year. 69% say they find it difficult to make ends meet, while 29% say they've cut back on food and heating to help curb costs. In terms of housing, we need to see the housing adaptation grants increase significantly. At the moment, the max a person can get is 30,000, yet it costs over 60,000 to adapt a bathroom and a bedroom. The Disability Minister Anne Rabbit says a respite investment plan will be published in the coming weeks. For the thousands of carers like Moira, who work day in and day out to look after their loved ones, these short breaks are essential. Mairead Cleary, Virgin Media News.